Hi everyone. Welcome to this week's children's message. I have some things here to show you. This is a bottle. This is a monitor. This is a diaper and a bib and some wipes. Can you guess what it is I have these things for? Of course, a baby. Well, I have a little granddaughter who's a baby. Sophie's eight months old, but I'm also getting two more grandchildren by the end of the year. So I have these things, but I should probably get in more items um, for all these babies. Well, our Bible story today is about a baby. The story comes from the Old Testament book of Exodus. Last week, our story was about a man named Joseph and how he earned the favor of the king of Egypt, the Pharaoh, and how his whole family came to Egypt to live with him. Well, time has passed and that Pharaoh and Joseph are no longer alive. There's a new Pharaoh, a new king of Egypt, who saw that the Hebrew people, which is Joseph's people, were very strong and they were growing in number. And the new Pharaoh was afraid that the Hebrew people would become strong enough to take over his country. So he did something terrible. He issued a command to his people and said, take every newborn Hebrew baby boy and throw him into the Nile River, but let the girls live. And the reason he wanted to get rid of the baby boys was because the boys are the ones that grew up to be soldiers. Well, during this time, a woman had a baby boy. She was a Hebrew woman and she didn't want her baby to die. So she hid him for three months. But as the baby got older, she knew she couldn't hide him much longer. So she put the baby in a basket that was watertight and she hid the basket among the tall grass at the side of the now river. The baby's sister stood nearby to watch over him and to see what would happen to him. Well, a little later, the king's daughter, the princess, came to the river to bathe and she noticed the basket and she heard the baby crying and she felt sorry for him. She said, this is one of the Hebrew babies and she decided to keep him as her baby. Well, the baby sister came and asked the princess if she wanted her to go and get someone to help take care of this baby. And the princess asked her to go get someone. And of course, the sister went and got the baby's own mother to come and take care of him. So now the baby had his mom taking care of him and also the protection of the princess who became a mother to him also. The princess said, I pulled him out of the water, so I named him Moses. And that's what Moses means in the Egyptian language. Moses grew up to become one of the greatest leaders of the people of Israel. He saved his people from death in Egypt and it is from this people that many years later, Jesus was born and he brought us God's love and salvation. So through these two mothers, God watched over Moses and God was also watching over all of us so that we could know of God's love and God's grace and God's forgiveness in Jesus. Isn't that an amazing story? Well, sometimes at Kids Club, we end by doing something that I think is appropriate today for us to do. And it goes like this. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. 
The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there is nothing my God cannot do. And of course, we do it a lot faster when we can. So feel free at home to do it as fast as you can or in a whisper or silently or all the ways we do it at Kids Club. But it just seemed like that was a good thing for this story. So what an amazing story it was. And let's have a word of prayer. Dear God, just as the mother of Moses watched over her son and protected him, you love and care for your children. We thank you that we are your children and that you love and protect us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, just remember, you have a God who loves you and protects you, just like Moses' mom and Moses' second mom loved and protected him. Have a great week, and may God watch over you and keep you safe until we meet again.